Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first video on this new channel. This is Bryce, I'm Reese, and we both buy and resell sneakers. So we figured we might as well make a YouTube channel reviewing, getting on foot footage, and just giving our honest reviews of all the sneakers that we come by. Yup, and today's video is going to be for introducing what we do and what we're going to do on this channel and to show off our own personal sneaker collections. So I think mine is a little better even though it has a little less value. Still means more to me. But we both have some pretty cool shoes. So let's get into it. All right, so first of all, uh, I got the Nike Akron Blazers and I don't even know what colorway. They are a thumb. I can do two things with this hand, thumbs up and thumbs down. <laughs> this is a thumbs down sneaker. Uh, the resale value really um, dipped down. It's below retail right now, I believe, on Snock StockX. Bought these for like 152. It wasn't the move. Not my style. My first pair of sneakers is the sneakers I've had the longest. A pair of Vapor Max 2s. I've had these for about three years. Um, they've held up very well and are extremely comfortable. And Vapor Maxes are one of my favorite pairs of sneakers. I had a pair. They pop. <laughs> Oh man, I like the shoe. <laughs> My next pair of sneakers is a pair of Nike Overbreaks. Um, these shoes have a little value to me because it was the first pair that I ever hit on the Nike Sneakers app. They recently re-released and I don't think they're too hard to get anymore. Um, they have a very big midsole, so which makes them a little controversial, but it also makes me a little taller, so I like them. Um, definitely a cool shoe. Ladies like the extra height. Uh, my next shoe is the Air Max 95 in the Japan colorway, I believe, as it's set on StockX. I recently got these off there for a Christmas present. I really like the colorway. I like the neutral colors with a hint of red in it. Not too much going out there, but it goes with a lot of good outfits, so I really like them. For the third <laughs> sneaker in my collection, I got the Yeezy 350 Mono Ice. These were a shoe that released quite a while ago. I chopped them after the release, so I got them for a little more than retail of $270. Well, that's how much I bought them for. <laughs> and um, I have a love-hate relationship with this shoe. This mesh upper material makes them really hard to clean, so I don't like to wear them that much. I like the shoe, but I don't like how dirty it gets. Otherwise, it's a thumbs up for me. My next shoe is a pair of Air Max 97s and my personal colorway. Um, these are a pair of Nike ID shoes and with the red stripes and the rest of it being all cream, it is definitely a fun shoe to style. The next shoe in my collection is the Yeezy 350 V2 Zions. Um, this is the first pair of Yeezys I had, but not the last. Definitely one of the most comfortable shoes that I own. You can never go wrong with wearing these for a long day. And I got these with exclusive access off the confirmed app, so I did end up getting these for retail. My next shoe is the Nike GT Cut Pros. Um, I recently got these off the Nike app. They released on there. I was able to get a pair. He was not. I like to flex on him with those kind of wins. And I really like this shoe. It's a really cool colorway. I like the pink in it even though you'd say pink's not a manly color <laughs> I, I like pink personally it's a really cool shoe i'm thinking about keeping it for my next year of basketball for high school gotta rock out for senior year you know i'm, not a, big, I'm not a big fan of pink but i definitely do like those shoes and you got the pink laces in case you want to make a little more spicy up top you know what i mean uh next i got my first pair of Yeezys that i was ever, ever able to hit on on a confirmed app draw actually it wasn't quite exclusive access like him but i could not resist um selling these away it was before i even got into reselling actually and i really like this shoe they're really comfortable that's why he even got a pair he really liked how comfortable they were colorway ain't too bad has the beige on the inside which makes it go with a lot more things and then you have a cool little switch to colors so i like it my next pair of shoes is the Yeezy Slides in the pure colorway. Um, I just got these in yesterday. I traded for them on Trade Block, and so I ended up getting them for not too bad of a price because paying $210 for a pair of slides, most people will call you crazy. But these are definitely the most comfortable shoe I have in my collection, and there's 
these this colorway and two more dropping tomorrow, March 7th, and I'm definitely trying to get all of them. And <laughs> hopefully I get a pair because <laughs> I tried those things on. They are so comfortable. I They're astonishing. I really like them. My next pair is yet another pair of Yeezys, and it is the 350 V2 Lundmark non-reflective. I also traded for these shoes, so I ended up getting from for a pretty decent price. The only problem with trading for shoes is instead of making a profit on reselling them, um, it's a pretty big hit to the bank account when Get you buy a new pair of shoes. Fees. Yeah, but after getting my first pair of 350s and how comfortable they were, I definitely wanted to get another pair. And I'm in love with this colorway being a white and gray colorway with their reflective laces. They definitely go with a lot of stuff. And you got that nice little accent hint of beige, which makes it nice. All right, so I didn't have a shoe the last time since Freeze is special and likes to have more sneakers than me. But I got the valuable pairs, except for we both have the same amount of pairs on the way right now, worth the same amount. But these right here are the Union LA, what are the colorway called? The Pistachio? Pistachio, that's what it is. I knew it was some kind of nut. <laughs> but I got these off the Union LA drop that happened less than a month ago, I believe. I was able to get these Size eight and a half though, size 12 sold out <laughs> right before I was able to get through. Overall, this is a pretty dope shoe. It's very interesting in how it has the grids where the leather is not yet exposed. And it's an overall interesting shoe, but I really like it. And there's also more colorways that are seem to be dropping that are gonna be landing at my house. And hopefully mine. Uh, my last pair of shoes is a Nike collab. It is the Nike Air Max 1 Pada in the Noise Aqua. Noise Aqua. Noise Aqua. Um, I got these shoes a while ago. I bought them off eBay. Uh, pretty expensive pair of shoes. I'm yet to wear them <laughs> because it's currently the winter months. And not only is this not really a winter style of shoe, but I definitely don't want to wear these in the salt and snow and get them dirty the first time I wear them. And uh, wearing these for the first time is definitely gonna be hard with knowing how expensive they are he claims they're dead stock insert video that proves they're not tried to hide it but don't worry i got the homie hookup of the insider angle of him trying them on the dead stock shoes <laughs> dead stock shoes they're dead stock dead st they're inside <laughs> dead stock and that wraps up uh, all of the shoes in our collection at the moment and the first video of the channel Hope you guys liked it and got kind of an idea of what we plan on doing on this channel. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know what you thought in the comments. Yep, this is a nice short and sweet 10 minute video about what we're doing. And we got some pretty cool sneakers on the way that you're going to see on this channel. We definitely hope to be posting a lot of reviews in the near future. Peace. Peace.